Hi everybody, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So a few days ago, I uploaded a video pertaining to some templates for mugs and postcards to help those of you who use the free version of Canva to be able to create effective designs for your Redbubble, TeePublic, Zazzle, what have you, print-on-demand business. And I have to say thank you to all of you who sent a comment thanking me for that episode. I'm really touched and I'm really glad that it actually helped provide you with a lot of value and obviously to help take your print-on-demand business to the next level. What I really appreciated too was the fact that some of you actually got back to me and asked me, said, listen, is it possible to create effective clock face template for Canva to be able to create and sort of like embellish that aspect of our print-on-demand business? And, you know, I was really happy to receive that question. I actually took the challenge to it and I went in, I did some research and on Photoshop, I created a template which can be utilized in Canva. It's going to have both a black colored font and a white colored font, which you're going to be able to use. I'm going to show you how to use it in today's episode and it's going to be available for all of you to download through a link in the description below. So it's going to be a very long episode, but it's going to be a valuable episode. So with that said, stay tuned. Now before we start with today's episode, the fact that you're here gives indication that you are interested in all things pertaining to print on demand. And for that I want to thank you wholeheartedly for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this episode. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel, smash that like button and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday and the objective of this channel is to help you take your print on demand business to the next level. So if you're excited about that and you're all set and ready to go, let's go over to my computer screen and start with today's tutorial. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen and as you can see, I've already loaded up Canva. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a design. Now in order to create a proper design canvas for a clock face, we need to insert the following numbers. We're going to choose custom size and we want to make sure that the width and the height are 2,940 pixels each. Once we've done that, all we need to do is click on create new design, wait for Canva to load up, and now we're presented with our canvas. So what I have already done is um, given the fact that earlier on this month on my Instagram and the Facebook pages that I post to, um, I gave a list of events that are going to be happening in the month of January, just sort of to get people's creative juices flowing again, given the fact that, you know, with the rush and lead up to the Christmas holidays, uh, obviously people will think, okay, well, now Christmas is over. What am I going to design for? January tends to be a bit of a slow month. And, you know, in truth, there are quite a number of events and holidays that you could actually design for for the month of January. So what I did was I chose two particular events, one being um, peanut butter day on the 24th of January and the other is chocolate cake day on the 27th January. So two very interesting and delicious events that I'm sure many of you would really love to participate in and perhaps even design for. So um, I went ahead and I visited Pixabay and pexels.com and I searched for a couple photos based on peanut butter and chocolate and I narrowed them down to two, one for chocolate cake and the other one for peanut butter which I'm going to um, use in this particular episode which I've already uploaded to Canva and I also went ahead and created a clock face template in Photoshop and uploaded them as a PNG with a transparent background so that you could effectively use them on Canva over here and I'm going to have both of these templates available uh, via link in the description below and I've also got a special announcement about clock faces that I'm going to let you know about later on in this episode but for now let's see how easy it is to use these templates to create your own fantastic clock faces that you can actually upload onto Redbubble um, and hopefully make a lot more sales. Now one of the things that I don't know if it's if you're like me, I've been seeing a lot of clock faces with effectively just, you know, a design uploaded and there's no indication of any kind of numbers whatsoever on the clock face. Now, in truth, some people might actually like that when they're purchasing a clock. 
but there are quite a number of others, I believe, myself included, would love to see the numbers on the clock face so that if I'm just looking up at a glance, I will know exactly what time it is without having to try to figure, well, you know, is the small hand on the three or on the four, or is the big hand on the seven or on the eight, or is that the nine, particularly if the lighting isn't that good. So what I did, as I mentioned a few moments ago, was I created two templates using the Times New Roman numbers. One template is white in color with a black stroke, and the other one is black in color with no stroke, so that basically if you have a design which is going to have um, a light colored background or a white background, you might want to consider using the black colored font. And if you have something which is, you know, another design which is a pattern or all over pattern, and that's dark, you might want to use the white colored font in order for it to stand out. So let's take a look at how we're going to go about doing it. So as I stated earlier, I've already uploaded design. So if I go into my uploads, we can see here I have a chocolate cake picture and I have a peanut butter texture, which I downloaded again from Pexels and from Pixabay respectively. And then on each side of the, of the peanut butter texture, I've got my clock face, which is black. And obviously I have my other clock face, which is white in color with the black uh, stroke. Now, I also created a template over here um, just sort of to give you an idea of where to put your singular designs or pictures that you uh, downloaded or are going to be using on the clock face to make sure that obviously your design is going to appear on the clock face. And again, this is going to be applicable for those pictures, clip arts, graphics, whatever you're going to use that are going to be small and contained within the center of the clock face. So what I could do is I could click on this, uh, this template and I'm just going to drag it and wait for it to fill in the entire canvas. So now what I'll do is I will click on the chocolate cake and just allow Canva to put it up on the canvas center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize it slightly. Now I'm going to be doing some more tweaks to it. It's not a problem if you don't get it right the first time. I'm just sort of giving an idea. Remember that the numbers are going to have to go all the way around the chocolate cake. So I want to make sure that the chocolate cake and the numbers aren't going to overlap on top of each other. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on the background. I'm going to delete it. And um, given the fact that we're going to have a white background, I'm going to choose the black colored font for my clock face number. So I'm just going to click on it, allow it to open. So all I need to do is just grab the design, take it up to the top left hand corner, and then grab the bottom right corner handle and just going to stretch out so that I fill the entire canvas with the clock face. And as you can see here, I've got the numbers circling the cake and I'm actually quite happy with that. What I might do is I might just click on it and move it slightly. Now look at what happened. Obviously because of the fact that the clock face is on top, when I click to move it, I drag the clock face. So we don't want that to happen. So we're just going to move it back into place and I'm going to choose position and I'm going to send it back. Now with respect to the cake, what I might want to do is I want to just grab on the transparency and take it back a little bit just so that I can see the four coming through underneath. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to grab the cake and I'm just going to move it slightly, maybe raise it up a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now what I'll do is I'll just increase the transparency of the cake by grabbing the handle and bring it all the way back up to 100. And then I'm going to click on the clock face. And as you can see here, it's not allowing me to reposition. So I'm not going to panic about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the clock face from the uploads folder. Just click once, allow Canva to bring it back on. And then I'm just going to grab the handles and I'm going to extend them to make sure that the clock face fits the entire template. Now, why I'm happy with that, okay, and I've done all my tweaks and whatnot, all I have to do is just click on the download button and allow Canva to download once I hit the download button. Now make sure that the file type is set to PNG. Once you have that set, just click on download and then wait for Canva to download the design. As you can see back here, now you've got your design, it's ready. I'm not gonna go into the folder just yet. Let's say I want to create a clock face where I want to have a texture, a pattern, fill the entire canvas of the clock face and still obviously have the numbers going around. Well, that's super simple to do. Let's just delete all of these here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to utilize the peanut butter texture. So I'm just gonna click on it, bring it into place, and then I'm just going to stretch it out so that it fills in the canvas. And the beauty about this kind of texture is you could literally just move it around 
and increase or decrease accordingly until you're happy with the way the texture is appearing on your canvas. Now we don't want to use the black colored font for the clock face. I want to use the white with a black stroke so that it will stand out against the peanut butter texture. So in order to do that, I just click once on that font. As you can see, Canva brings it up into view. I just click and drag. And then I grab the bottom right corner handle, stretch it out accordingly. And there you have my peanut butter texture clock face, which obviously anybody who loves peanut butter and would like to showcase this in their kitchen on peanut butter day on the 24th of January, well, it's something that they can consider buying and put it up. But let's see how it's going to look once we've uploaded. Now, I already took the liberty of going ahead and uploading them to Redbubble, so I'm not going to spend too much time going on that. Many of you who have been following my channel already know how to upload to Redbubble. And so in order to ensure that this video is to the point and not too long, I went ahead and I downloaded some mockups based on these two clock face templates just to give you an idea of how they would look on Redbubble once you have them uploaded. So let me switch the screen here to show you some mockups that I downloaded so that you can see just how effective these designs would look on a clock face with the numbers. And again, it's just to give your customers that additional boost of quality for them to consider when they're going through the marketplace, perhaps looking for a clock face with numbers that they can actually see and appreciate and hopefully click the add to cart button in order to make a purchase. Okay, so here we can see I've got a mock-up of the chocolate cake um, on the, uh, the clock face mock-up with the black colored font and it looks really spectacular. It looks minimalist, but very effective. The chocolate cake really stands out nicely. It's not overlapping any of the numbers, and anybody who perhaps would like to have a nice cake-related or baking-related themed clock face in their kitchen or wherever it is that they do or enjoy to do their baking, this could potentially be a nice gift to obviously um, purchase for themselves or purchase for a loved one or a friend. So as you know, Redbubble provides different mock-ups and angles. So I downloaded one which was just on an angle so that you could actually see how it would look like if somebody had to see it from you know the bottom left-hand corner. And they also offer different um, clock colors for the edging. You've got your black and your bamboo and your white. So again, it looks great on all three clock face types. Now in terms of the peanut butter texture, as you can see here, it really filled in the background of the cake. It's in my perspective and in my opinion, it's really nice. I hope that you agree. But obviously, if not, you can obviously go in and create your own and just you know go to town with any kind of texture, any kind of pattern, and basically the world is your oyster with respect to creating amazing clock faces that will hopefully increase your sales potential. So here we go. We've got another view of the uh, clock face, and then. We've got a view with the three different colored uh, clock rims, which obviously this particular um, type of uh, background looks great on all three. So as you can see, everybody, it's really not that difficult to create some effective and eye-catching clock faces for your Redbubble business. With just a little bit of patience, some research, trying to find those really fantastic niches, there's no way in my mind that you can come up with so many wonderful designs for clock faces, particularly if you want to focus on a red bubble shop that really focuses solely on clock faces, which, hey, is totally fine. You can do that. Now, early on in this episode, I mentioned that I had a special announcement for the end of this episode. I took the liberty of creating a clock face bundle with an assortment of clock face types and colors to help make the design process that much easier for you when you utilize Canva or indeed any imaging editing program because these particular clock face templates can be utilized in any image editing program that you would like to use. So long as you obviously keep the template size as indicated in today's episode. So I'm going to have a special link in the description box below. I would love to have you take a look at it. It's gonna take you to a landing page which is gonna show you a few samples of the different types of clock faces that I created. And if it's something that you'd like to avail yourself in order to help make your design making process a lot faster and a lot easier, then I would love to invite you to take me up on the offer that I have. And obviously, I wish you loads of success in the utilization of these templates. But for today, that's all I have. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative, Bye for now.